All right. So you talk about the ending. We're not quite there. I think at the end, that's what you mentioned there. Um, looking at the beginning, there's some really neat stuff there. I can see there's some more. There's some more sliding a lot of the rotation thing, and I think we need to kind of do more of a the fingers kind of like the thumb. Like, you know, that's your thumb here, and then on the down, like the thumb will come out, kind of a spreading as opposed to a constant sliding there of the hands it's not too bad though nothing crazy like you're starting off with more foot stuff here which is good this feels a bit linear how you get that foot off it also feels like very straight on as opposed to kind of a bigger arc same thing here this feels a bit linear just a tad like something about this foot as it comes off it's kind of the angle of the foot is the same and then the way it comes down here it doesn't feel like there's a lot of um, rotation in the leg there and the foot that kind of works this is a bit tricky where it feels a bit too pose to pose where even though there's an offset in arms if you watch in hands if you watch this in real time they kind of come up pretty much at the same time and I know I, if I frame through I see the offset but there's something about this coming in it's not too bad, but the tricky thing about this one is that the moment you lift this up, like it feels like you want to get into a pose like this with one arm, one hand, and a bit earlier, as opposed to hold, and I feel like if both go up here, he will kind of lose his grip and start sliding down. It's interesting. Timing theory feels a bit, a bit off. And it's a bit too, you hold this too long to be kind of an anticipation to this thing. It's a bit tricky. Watch out, this this hand kind of pops out up here. A bit too linear also, it's good. kind of a big move. On that throw, I'm not sure if I saw that last time too, what it feels like on that on that um, push off and throw, what's it called, the twist. Uh, there's something about this coming down and rotating, which works, but then once you hit this point, it feels like you're suddenly rotating out of really this neck and he's not really falling down anymore. It's like a full rotation with the pivot in the neck as opposed to a continuous translate down. So watch out how you suddenly have that. It's kind of a weird pivot point on that on that drop. Boom. But the offset there is good. Like how it looks around. Um, you might still argue that potentially this is a bit too close, the knee and, and the hand there. Same thing here, that hand and that foot there. Close in terms of tangents. Same thing with this guy, your rest is, and you got that hand right there with where that leg is. I think you can, you know, bring out that arm just more and uh, and really separate that thing. Careful how long you linger that spear with that leg here so it doesn't overlap as long it's a bit tricky I mean it's not it's not a super shot killer but it feels like right where that leg rests you got a lot of overlapping moments where leg and spear kind of line at the same the same angle then you get a moment of stopping here where that tip is kind of too close to that hand again forming a tension and this being a bit too aligned but you go back here, which is good. And then he goes forward. And again, I will keep this guy just a bit longer. If you can. Just it feels like you're lifting. The amount of push off from that foot is not quite enough. And I don't see, like, there's no change in the rotation of that foot. Like, you want to keep this so that you can go really far back with that foot roll. Because it feels like he starts to use this leg to push the body over here. But by the time he lifts his leg he's still kind of leaning back here he would he would start falling back you want the body like here the body over this leg be really over that and then this leg can come off it's a bit late he kind of boom comes to just a bit post to pose on that stop there everything comes everything kind of stops almost at the same time and then you got that move where arm and body and, and leg, everything kind of goes up and stops at the same time. So it's a bit too pose to pose. 
but it's better. It's just being picky here. There's something about this being comes in, goes into one, two. But I like how you have that sub pose where he stops and then does that little peek, which is great. And this is still something that I've always been mentioning, and it's, it's a little bit tricky where like he feels like he's really leaning and like he's getting ready, and he got that nice C curve and he's going, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. And then he goes into this and everything kind of drops and it feels more like, you know, he's kind of tired. Tired's kind of a Sunday stroll. It doesn't feel as energetic as it should be. Same thing here with your push off. You're getting at this point already lifting this up while center of gravity is not quite over this leg enough. So at this point he would again fall over. Should be around this point. With the head here, this was a bit more balanced. So the foot would be foot rolling off here, giving again more of a lean forward, a bit more dynamic pose. That's better. And then you mentioned the same, which I'm not get there. So yeah, it's kind of that up pause and could be just a bit more dynamic there. It's kind of neat though. You can probably bring this guy just a further back a bit. So that's kind of see it. you're getting there. It's definitely in the, in the right spot. It's a little tangent things there and kind of offset and watch out your your your. Um, if you hold the pose and you start, it's like make sure that you kind of ease out enough so it doesn't kind of pop out. And then watch out how you get into that kind of a. Oh, tire pose there. But overall, it's it's really heading into the right direction. It's being super picky, making sure that I'm covering everything. And, you know, and depending on how much time you have, you can also kind of choose what is important to you and where, where you want to push things. But I'm just mentioning what I'm seeing. Um, but compared to what, you know, you first submitted, this is a, a really, really, really good progression there. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.